funds that we raise go directly to Haiti, our heroes. We are an all-volunteer board. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light? Tonight, it is my honor, and I'll try not to get emotional, to introduce to you our second Nashville JCS hero, Corporal Josh Metz. Every little time I have them, it's, uh, it's really great. Um, they're taking care of stuff that uh, family needs and everything that I ever needed. And um, like I said, I'm still new and I'm continuing to uh, be part of the JCS family. I've met uh, two Medal of Honor recipients just from being with the JCS. Uh, that was pretty awesome. Um, also went and uh, met Pam and Don, which is another great people. Jeremy has had a setback and has been in the hospital since February. Pam and I made a visit to Jeremy in the hospital last week. And we have a video that we're going to show you. And by the way, today, our Medal of Honor recipients visited Jeremy in the hospital. It was really, really inspiring to them and to Jeremy. I love JCS, they're awesome. They've been there for my family, they've helped us a lot. Come to have some difficulties while I was in the hospital and they were there to help my mom and dad and, and do what they can to help us, which they're amazing people, especially Pam and Don. You know, without them, so, you know, can't reiterate that enough is they're amazing people and they have gone above and beyond and continue to do so and they're great people I would like to take just a minute to recognize two ladies who have been our heroes constant caregivers for too often we forget the important role they play in the recovery of our soldiers. Pam Bird, Jeremy's mom. <laughs> it has been Pam's unconditional love, strength, support, and continued, continued optimism that has helped Jeremy through some of the darkest days since he was shot in 2010. And Cat Williams, Josh's sister. <laughs> Cat has been with Josh since he was discharged in 2013. And even with her three little children, who are adorable, five and under, Kat always has the time and the energy to help her brother whenever needed. We commend you ladies, and we applaud all the things that you do. Citizen, a, a selfless person, to give of yourself to others, 
I think I understood all six pillars prior. I think I knew of all six pillars prior to going into the military, but I think it took true hardship and suffering and sacrifice to actually understand all of those pillars. And once I understood them, and I understand they don't just exist in combat or in peacetime, they don't just exist in camouflage or wearing a suit and tie, they exist in every, every facet of life. It makes us a better person and improves the lives of those around us. How truly important those pillars are. And it's the pillars of being a good person, not just the pillars of the love of other lives. I'm happy that there's so many patriots out there that are willing to step forward and help these fine young soldiers that are returned with their challenges in life. You know, the, the Joshua Chamberlain Society is incredible to see so many people that are involved in their community that just want to reach out and help in whatever way, shape, or form they can. Uh, this is an incredible group of folks with such giving, caring hearts, and, and I am proud to be part of this here tonight and hopefully going on into the future.